Today, in Marine Engineering 101, we will carry out an onload test of our emergency generator onboard. This is a monthly test to make sure that our emergency power system works smoothly according to SOLAS standards. There will be some important questions that will be presented throughout the video and shall be answered on this tutorial. So make sure to finish the entire video to learn more. In this episode, Chief Engineer Oleksii Smanov will guide us through the sequence of procedure in teething the emergency switchboard onload test. Onload fan and steering gear number two. Okay, two. Yeah. Two load, yeah. So, well, now sure. we will inform bridge, but before we will just try out. So, from auto to manual, start. Yeah. The SOLAS convention requires simple and clear procedures to be posted on the emergency generator panel. This is to allow all crew to be able to be familiar and proficiently carry out the start-up procedure by themselves. Hello. And uh, with this emergency engineer speaking, uh, we are planning to make an unload system emergency generator. Okay, so once I will start, we cover these alarms. And uh, uh, after these alarms, I will call you back to start the uh, steering gear number two. Okay, keep it on load. Thank you. The unload test is a monthly routine check carried out to make sure that startup sequence load management and stoppage procedure of the emergency power system is working as per solar standard what you have you have engine this will be only start of the engine yeah and engine plus acb yeah what that, it means that would be on load yes after i will switch on here position please uh record this because this is very important this is the sequence of start stop unload of load and other okay and before that this compulsory must be auto otherwise it will not start okay automatic only so so from now normal. since now one moment i will make stopwatch it will be 43 seconds 40. to come on load but after 45 seconds it must give source complete okay, okay. it not means start in case of blackout from the main power system smooth transition for feeders on essential equipment shall be available in the fastest possible time as per SOLA's requirement, okay. the sequence and emergency power system shall be available no, within 45 this, seconds this, upon activation. This will be important for us. Because once it is running okay, only these three running. Okay. Then you will see others. It is important to observe the sequence of startup and the different parameters during the testing. Record data for comparison, take timings and double check that all systems are working as prescribed. Once the system is running, add loads on the emergency power feeder and run for at least 30 minutes. Essential equipment such as navigation and communication, fire safety, emergency lightings, air compressors, steering gear, life-saving equipments are connected to the emergency power system. These are necessary machinery to be able to restore the vessel systems in cases of main power failure. For record keeping, take note of the parameters during on-load test procedure. This is to establish baseline data on the normal running condition of the system. Stopping the system is activated via the selector knob. Select normal mode and the shutdown sequence shall commence. The emergency generator will run for 5 minutes to cool down before total stop. After testing, make sure to return all settings to normal automatic condition. That's our onload test procedure for our emergency power system onboard. Hope you learned something from this video.
Please like, subscribe and share if you find this content helpful. This is Marine Engineering 101. Work smart, know better.